Coach Joyner, your Aggies closed out the regular season by winning 14 out of, out of their last 17 games, including sweeping the season series with North Carolina Central. As you await your opponent in the MEAC tournament, what is your evaluation of your team at this point in the season? I think we're playing well. Um, you know, we've totally, uh, the guys have totally bought into, you know, the team concept. You know, we don't have one player averaging 10 points. A game, you know, um, so uh, that that's truly the you know um, the epitome of team basketball, and you know I can't uh, thank these young men enough to buy into the team concept. Well, Coach Joyner, you certainly have some standouts on your team, including Ibrahim Silla and Malik Gantz, but then you also have Quay Copeland, your leading scorer who transferred from Middle Tennessee State University and actually had to sit out a year before suiting up for the Aggies this season. Now, you just said that no player on your team averages 10 points a game, but please tell us about the other contributions that this core group of players bring to the Aggie. Well, um, Quay Copeland, he's definitely a talented guard, um, like like you mentioned, that transfer from Middle Tennessee State. Um, we, we had to go with a bunch of older guys this year because um, I lost my entire front court last year, okay, and I... Uh, you know, in our conference in the MEAC, it's kind of hard to bring in a bunch of high school guys in one year and expect to remain at the top of the league. So, um, believe it or not, we've we have we have five um, grad students on the team. Okay, um, Quavis Copeland is a senior. Malik Gantz, um, he's talented. He's a senior. And then you talk about Eve Siler. He's a grad student. Aaron Edmead is a grad student. Amari Hamilton's from Durham, grad student. Terry Harris, grad student. Nelson Nowicki um, is a grad student. So, you know, even though we, we brought in a lot of new faces, uh, I thought the, um, the experience, the, having older guys on your roster would um, pay huge dividends, and it actually paid off for us this year.